is your COVID-19 vaccine. Detox tea has over 20 herbs that can cleanse the colon, the kidney, the pancreas, the lungs, the liver, the heart, anything in this detox tea kit. I don't know how many of you guys, if you, all of you even know who Emily Chopper is, but he's this like rapper that's been popping over the last two years or so. And he has one of the most interesting, I, I can't even call it a rebrand, but I would just say adjacent brand building of any artist I've seen because I've never seen like a street rapper be branded into like the spirituality and like wellness niche, like never, ever, ever. I, I can't think of it. If somebody else knows anybody, I'll love to hear it, but I've never seen it. And what was interesting about it is like, I'm a big fan of him. And I, I saw the moment that it happened. There was one day he randomly posted on his Instagram a video of I've him seen in, that. in his garden, mm -hmm. bro. It's just, it's just like, everybody was like, bro, you fucking garden? Like what? And it just like set this whole shit off. And it's like, now he sells like dried herbs on his website. He makes videos like of him grounding him. It's, a, it's such a like wild branding move for somebody in that space. Like you, it, on paper, you would be like, that would never work. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, I'm not putting a street rapper on a Dr. Sebi page and like, you know what I'm saying? And expecting people to convert. But now what's happened because of that is that there are pages that will post about him that never will post his music content. A, a, a veganism page will post a video of him talking about why it's important to be vegan and be healthy, but they never post Shot of Flow 3. They never post that shit, you know what I'm saying? But because he has the content that allows him to kind of diversify that way, he can hit all these different spaces and, and tap into all these different people um, without solely relying on just like what the music can provide. And like that to me is next level content marketing, influencer marketing strategy. When you're able to say like, yo, here are two, three, four, five, six, whatever you're looking for, different niches that I feel like I need to be speaking to um, or putting myself in. I'm going to go create some content that speaks to all of them, you know what I'm saying? Or, or figure out a way that I can have something that speaks to all of them and I'm going to activate them all either at the same time or at different points. Um, because that too, the unsuspecting fan does not look like a marketing campaign. What a marketing campaign looks like to the average fan is, hey, X artist has a new song come out. Hey, X artist from this location is the hottest thing out. What you think? Yo, this artist just dropped a song with this feature. Like, what do you think? That is very obviously a marketing rollout, like marketing plan going on, right? Like, versus, yo, Inelie Chopper says that rappers should drink chlorophyll water instead of lean. And it's posted on health pages. Like, that doesn't, it doesn't feel like a marketing plan, but I promise you, there's a marketing manager somewhere with a nice little spreadsheet, and he just ticked that bitch off for the day saying, yo, we got this shit up. We did our goals for the week. Let's get some content together and do this again next week. Wow, what's up? It's Brand Man Sean. And if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description. If you want to talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos, so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists, brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app. It's really dope and you get get access to free courses as well, but it might not be free forever. So hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.